Hey everybody, Brian from AMS Performance and today we're going to talk a little bit about our process in how we develop product, what we do to make it fit, how we test, how we design, how we get feedback from the customer base as to what we're going to make. We go from start to finish, we'll talk about some of the tools we use, some of the neat things we get to do here, and how we get the best stuff we can into your hands. The first thing we do is we have what we call a new platform discussion. So when something comes out or it's, let's say, a platform new to us, we'll talk about is this going to be relevant for what we can do very well? Can we reach the customer base? Can we actually make things that are going to improve the car? For example, there's been platforms before that we've evaluated and they were really good OE or they were very difficult to work on and there wasn't a lot there to be had. We certainly could have made a product but we chose not to simply because it wasn't going to be the best thing that we could offer to customers. Now, for example, you take the Lamborghini Huracan, there's quite a bit we can do for that. So when we decided to get into that platform, we had the meeting, we talked about what the car can do, what the customers do with the cars and said, you know what, this is something we can work with. So for example, again, the new Supra, that's going to be what we're expecting to be a pretty popular car. We're really excited about it. We've got our shop car back there getting put together to go back on the dyno to test out some new parts. And from there, after we've decided, are we going to work with this platform, then we talk about what products we're going to do first. And that's when we'll start to get a car in, start to talk to some of our dealers, start to do a little bit of research, and we'll look at it and say, okay, we could improve A, B, and C, or we'll find the weak point. This car makes lots of power, but it has cooling issues. This car has got great cooling, but need some more power, a turbo kit would be easy to make, let's start with the intercooler, on and on and on and on. And that's when the first couple bits of tasks come here to the R&D department of let's start working on these things. So once we've decided what platform and what products we're gonna start working on, we go ahead and we start doing a little bit of research. We figure out what resources we need, who's going to be working on the project. We work a lot with sales and marketing at this point in the project to talk to everybody out there in the world to see what they want, what they're looking for, what they expect, you know, certain features, certain performance metrics, so that we can get a pretty good design direction going and make sure that we don't go down the wrong path in terms of what people actually want. A lot of times we'll think something's a great idea and people will think maybe not so much or People will come to us with a great idea. Hey, we want to put this part like this. We would love one made out of titanium. We'd love one made out of carbon. We want a really cost-effective piece made out of rubber because everybody wants one and they don't want to spend a ton of money. So great. You start to get those ideas together for what you're going to be designing. And then we jump on into the next stage, which is when we get into the actual nitty gritty of what are we going to do and how. Our next step when we start designing is to first get a baseline. We'll get a stock car and we'll start measuring that. We'll start looking at what the dyno numbers are, what the temperatures are, the pressures, how the original car works. So we have something to compare against as we move through our process. Once we get those basic measurements done and all the data logged, we actually start taking this apart piece by piece. We record how it comes apart for future use in installation instructions and then we start to scan and measure every single part that we're going to be working with. We scan the areas around it to see what we can fit. We make sure that we get the mounting locations, we get all the fittings, the connectors measured, so that when we make a product, it goes right in. You don't have to modify a whole lot of things. Once we get the car taken apart, we get our parts measured, we start doing our CAD work, we start discussing different design concepts. Should we make it square, round, long, short? Can we make a bigger core for a heat exchanger? Can we fit this turbo in this location? Are we going to need to make something with a V-band? Can we use a stock flange? All those ideas kind of get tossed around on the whiteboard, on paper, in meetings. Then we decide, let's start going this way. We start drawing that in CAD. Once we've got that, a good model in SolidWorks, we do some analysis there, refine that a little bit, and then we go ahead and 3D print our concept to test fit. We'll get that test fit in the car and make sure this is something that we can make. We'll do a little bit more analysis. We'll look at the manufacturing side and then we'll start to get into actual product testing and prototyping. 
So here we are in our printer farm. As we discussed, we will 3D print a lot of things to test fit, evaluate concepts. We'll get it into the hands of the techs and the salespeople, and they can say, you know, this will be easy to put in the car. Customers will love the way this looks. And that gives us a good idea early on in the process, are we making a great product or not? This is a new to us tool. This is a uh, Modix Big 120 printer. It allows us to print much larger assemblies all in one go. Here are our original four printers and they have a little bit smaller print area. So if we have something large like an intercooler or an engine block, you may have to print that in pieces or sections to get an idea of what you need and you have to assemble that. So it takes quite a bit of time and you lose a little bit of accuracy with multiple piece assemblies. So we have this, it has a 1.2 meter by 0.6 meter by 0.6 meter print volume. So it's pretty big. We can print gearboxes, engine blocks. We can print pieces of body work very efficiently and get a very good read on what that'll do when it sits in the car, how things will look. So this is something we're really excited about. This is one of our first prints. We're making a uh, air box to test fit in the car. Our next step is to go ahead and start making parts. Once we've gotten our CAD design done, we're happy with our prints, we'll go ahead and either start making things in-house for sheet metal parts, a lot of fabricated pieces we can make here at AMS, other things like carbon or injection molded parts that require a lot of tooling, a lot of special equipment. We will work with other manufacturers to get made. So we go ahead, we get that stuff going, we get it in-house. Then we go ahead, we QC it. Sometimes we'll scan something to compare the actual part with the designed part. We'll do quite a bit of other QC. We have, of course, you know, a good old look down and make sure everything's up to snuff. And then we'll go ahead, we'll test fit, and we'll start testing. We record that data against our baseline that we got earlier on the stock car. And we'll go through a loop where not every product is perfect the first go. So we iterate a little bit until it's to our satisfaction, which is of course your satisfaction. We don't want to make something that you don't want. It has to work. So we go through that process and once we're happy with it, we move on to production. As we go into production, it's another opportunity for us to get with a lot of the other guys here at the company to get everything ready for you. So as the product's being made, we sit with people in sales and marketing, we sit with people in kidding, in packing and shipping and we go over all of the things that they need to know to bring the product to your door. We talk about what we did, how we did it, why we did it so they can communicate this part gets you this gain that they have the ability to educate you in the same way we would be able to to let you know hey here's how we did our stuff here's exactly how it works. We also work with the guys in kidding and shipping so that as everything is packed and put away in inventory it's put away nicely, it's in the right size box, all the stuff you need, the instructions, the step-by-step -step information, the tuning guide, the photos, the accompanying video is all done so that when our production actually lands here and starts to get checked in and put in inventory, that goes right up for sale, you get notified about it and everything is ready to go straight to your door. So that's a quick overview of how we go from an idea to a finished product. If you have more questions, Check us out on AMSPerformance.com and as always, feel free to shoot us a message with questions. We're always happy to answer them. If you have more information you want to see from us here in R&D about what we do and how we do it, let us know. Thanks for watching. Visit AMSPerformance.com today.